Hello, St. Paul Spartans, and welcome to another week of McQueen's Lightning News. Also, welcome to the second quarter. Uh, this is the place to be to get everything that's going on in my classes for this week. And we have some stuff going on this week. We have Grandparents Day, 8th graders have a Spanish field trip, and on Monday, I have my first board game club. Let's get to it. Let's get into what's happening in my classes during the first week of the second quarter. It's a fresh start, so make it count. Sixth graders, we're going to continue our Ancient Egypt unit. This week we will do a hieroglyphics challenge, which is really fun, and we'll start building pyramids, both on Chromebooks and in person with toothpicks and marshmallows. Seventh grade, you're going to start to cover Julius Caesar, um, his rise, his fall, um, and his successor and Rome's descent into an actual empire. The eighth grade, you're gonna be working on the Declaration of Independence, maybe working on a project, um, and I believe you're gonna have a test this week. So study, study, study. Good luck. All right, this week we're getting to know Mrs. Smith. All right, Mrs. Smith is definitely an unsung hero. The school wouldn't work without her, right? So I thought it'd be really interesting to, to get to know more about her. So, Mrs. Smith, you've been here for almost two years now, right? One and a half, something yep. like that. What is your favorite part about St. Paul's School so far? My favorite part is meeting all the kids. Yeah. I awesome. will never learn all their names, but it's great <laughs> meeting them. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, so, when you were little, third, fourth, fifth grade, okay. what did you want to be when you grew up? A teacher. A teacher. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. Yep. For awesome. most of my life, I wanted to be a teacher. Yeah, that's awesome. I don't know what happened. <laughs> hey, life happens, right? Yeah. Um, what is something that our, our students and our families might not know about you? Um, very few people know that I was born with six fingers. I had oh, an extra finger right that's there. That's really interesting. Yeah, very yeah. cool. Yeah, I did not know that either. <laughs> and then our last question, the most important question, and Thomas Jefferson agrees here. Yeah. It's time for dessert, okay. cake, or pie? Cake, definitely. Chocolate. Why? Why? Because that's what my mom made the most of. Okay, nostalgia. That's perfect. That's nostalgia. All right. Thank you, Miss Smith. I appreciate Thank you. you. Now it's time for our question of the week. Last week's survey um, was of a half eaten sandwich, and you had to pick your next bite. And the overwhelming response, actually, the only one that was chosen was the middle bite, bite number two. I disagree vehemently with this. Number three is the absolute only way to go. I don't understand anything else, but I will digress and we can debate this in class if we need to. Shout out to Dyson in sixth grade for being chosen from the group. Um, way to go. This week, we're back to a question. It's just true or false. Please do not Google it. All right. Um, the question is, um, is this true or false? A hippopotamus can run faster than a human being. Come to me Monday morning uh, with your true with true or false. We'll put you into the drawing of other people who got it right, and uh, we'll see. Good luck. As always, thank you for watching another episode of McQueen's Lightning News. I'm having a lot of fun making these, and I'm still open to any suggestions for content segments or anything you want to add to this. Let's end, as we always do, with a quote. Start where you are, use what you have, and do what you can. Simple, but important. As always, people, remember that every day is a great day to have a good day. I'll see you this week.